Well folks, how's it going today? This is going to be just a short little video of chopping corn in the snow. It is Thursday, November 7th, and we have had about two, about two inches of accumulation. You can see the chopper in the background. The uh, head is uh, covered with snow. I've never chopped corn. Um, I've never chopped corn in the snow before. Usually we're not this late, and um, it's just an unfortunate set of circumstances here this year. But uh, this is the last day of chopping for uh, 2019, so we could put this in the in the storybooks for sure. Um, you know, being the fact that we've chopped corn in the snow. Now this field here was actually the field that I planted on the last day of planting this year. It was like June 25th or something like that, June 20th or something. I don't remember exactly when, but. Um, we were actually allowed to plant silage corn on preventative plant acres this year, but the corn had to be taken off as silage, so that's what we're doing here now. We're chopping this, and as the, the moisture's been right around 60%, 60, 62%, um, we're having to cart everything out of here with a dump wagon, so I'm waiting um, for the dump wagons to get back to me now. My shoulder's getting tired. Um, waiting for the dump wagons to get back. We've got like five acres left in this field, and then I've got a couple, three, four acres way down there on the other side of the power lines. And then on the other side of this hedgerow here, um, there was 27 or eight acres that we did. So, sounds like the dump wagon's coming. So we're gonna jump back in the chopper where it's warm. And um, this is just gonna be a short video of chopping in the snow. Um, hope you enjoy it. Remember folks, hit the thumbs up if you like these videos. Drop a comment down below, you know, do all that happy jazz. And uh, we're going to get back to it here. We'll join in with you a couple different times, a couple different segments here throughout the video. But it's just going to be a short one on chopping corn in the snow. I did put the drone up a little earlier. And I also had to uh, chip all the ice off the bottom feed roll. We were plugging up at the feed rolls because the... The top feed row couldn't get any traction on the corn because the bottom one was um, all iced over. So I hear the dump wagon coming, so we're going to get back to chopping. with the uh, throat plugging up at the feed rolls and what we've got is this bottom feed roll is uh, all iced up here so that feed roll right there is all iced up we've beat some of the ice out of the grooves here in four spots and we've only got I think there's eight all together material comes into the throat here this both of these feed rolls work with each other and this is just an ice ball here So, we're going to roll her backwards here to make sure we got it.
we're gonna see how that runs now. All that ice is out of there. I plugged up several times and uh, corn would plug right at the throat there, right at the feed roll. So we're gonna run her just like that. Alright, that's running a lot better uh, now. Um, actually making it through and into the feed rolls there. So there's quite a little bit of corn or snow on the corn but um, there is a little bit of green in this corn you can't quite see it right now but we're running at 58 percent moisture all right we're just getting the drone out of the case here um, this drone here i've actually got two of these i had to send in the other one for repairs but this drone here is the one that i ran over with a corn planter you can kind of see the the bottom of it is pushed up some. Um, I ran over it with a corn planter and I also, um, this is the one that I ended up putting up in the tree when I was putting seeds in that day. I was trying to get some pictures of lightning that was off to the west of me and get the planter, the grain drill and the tractor in it. I ended up getting it caught in a tree and that drone was in the tree for 28 or, or 24 or 48 hours, I forget which. I ended up getting the drone out of the tree with the uh, the man lift and it had rained that morning while it was in the tree we got like three quarters of an inch of rain so I ended up putting it in a bag of rice so we're gonna be flying it actually for the first time since then um, I had to send in like I said had to send in my other drone to uh, get worked on so we better get this thing up in the air and watch uh, Nate uh, dump that load off and get some chopper footage here before it actually gets dark it's gray and gloomy now and the sun goes down at freaking five o'clock it seems like anymore of choppers ago I don't remember if it was the 7750 or the 7780 that we had it had heated mirrors <laughs> I said what in the hell would you need heated mirrors for well we're figuring out today that uh, yeah <laughs> there's certain situations that you might wish you had heated mirrors and that one's starting to frost over 
and so is that one. So, I guess uh, it is important to have heated mirrors. This one doesn't have heated mirrors on it. I didn't order it with any any extra things like that on there at all, and hopefully this is the, the last time we're doing anything like this. Alright folks, so it is just a little bit after 6 o'clock here on November 7th. We're just getting ready to load up the last load of silage for 2019. I'm just waiting for the dump wagon to pull in here. I've got just a little bit of corn here left to do, and that's going to put the wraps on chopping for 2019. And for this year, we've chopped a total of 28 days. We started on October 8th, and uh, we missed a couple three days anyways for, for rain. So, um, we're going to get back at it here. I'm going to just chop up this last load. We're going to fold the head up, and we're going to head on home. Huh? <laughs> the abominable snowman. You got your Fridays mixed up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this should be fucking YouTube stuff, you know? Yeah. Snow bunking. Yeah, it's on. It's on right now, buddy, right there. Uh, <laughs> it's on.